Before we dive into installing the server and streaming, I think it's important to take a step back and understand the ways that video can be delivered using Flash Media Server, as all of the acronyms can get pretty confusing. In this chapter, I'll give you an overview of each delivery method and how it works on Flash Media Server. The best place to start is with the original Flash Streaming Protocol, RTMP. RTMP stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol. It's a TCP-based protocol that Adobe developed for streaming audio, video, and data between Flash Media Server and Flash Player. A two-way connection is opened between the two, and this allows them to communicate in real time back and forth. The data they exchange can be pre-recorded or live video and audio, or it could even be data such as text chat or XY coordinates of players in a multiplayer game. RTMP is a great solution to stream media and share data between clients who have Flash Player. Here's a bird's eye view of how RTMP works. First, the Flash Player Swift contacts the FMS server and an RTMP connection is open between them. Then, the Flash Player requests a specific video stream. This could be a pre-recorded stream, which is stored on the FMS server itself, or a live stream that's being broadcast either from another connected Flash Swift or from Flash Media Live Encoder. Once FMS receives the request for the stream, it's sent directly to the Flash Swift over the RTMP connection. The same stream can be sent out to any number of clients who request it, provided the FMS server and its network have the bandwidth to deliver all of the simultaneous streams. Additional FMS servers can be chained together to increase capacity and allow for very large events. Later in this course, we'll get our hands on the VOD and live services on FMS that let us quickly start streaming both live and on-demand video over RTMP to Flash Player. Next, let's look at HTTP Dynamic Streaming, or HDS.